rebuilt a bit of my uh, spark gap Tesla coil. You can see the new top load, 4 inch spheroid from uh, Information Unlimited. 10 bucks, can't beat that. Put a little layer of electrical tape on top. Um, there's actually white electrical tape under that, and then there's uh, polyethylene tape over that. Um, this is just a little bit more to keep the corona down. Rebuilt the spark gap a bit into a larger housing, and with uh, one larger electrode, the other one's still the same size. Having a bit of problems right now with electrode wear down, and uh, then the gap opens up too much, and it, it uh, pretty much stops firing. I may move up to tungsten electrodes eventually, but for now, brass is what I'm using. Everything else the same as it was before, and the uh, coil is all tuned up. It's actually only about a centimeter off from where it was before, which works out perfectly. I have a uh, couple of sheets of uh, acrylic there sitting under the uh, primary lead just to prevent any arc over. But I haven't had any problems yet. Alright, let's fire her up. It'll be loud. Earplugs. First, we switch on the blower. And now the coil. As the electrodes heat up, they uh, they stop quenching quite as well, and the spark length diminishes. But um, give it a 30 second cool down, and it's usually fine. I still have to fine tune it a little bit more as far as the spark gap goes. Um, they wear down from ablation, and then it opens up too much, as I said. So uh, that's something I need to solve. But I have it running really well now. Uh, regular 16 inch uh, streamers there. Let's give her another go. Manually pulsing.
Oh, there you have it. What a difference a uh, good top load can make. Just need to fix the uh, spark gap a bit and this coil is in business.